Idaho forests play an important role in the making of paper. And at Clearwater Paper in Lewiston, Idaho, wood chips, sawdust, bark, and other small pieces are ingredients for paper and electricity. Did you know that Clearwater Paper is often the number two customer for many area sawmills, making sawmill residuals a valuable product? Did you also know that Clearwater Paper's mill at Lewiston accounts for half of all forest product sales in Idaho? More than 240 truckloads of wood fiber a day arrive at the mill, mostly from Idaho sawmills. Each truck is raised to an 80 degree angle and emptied. Its contents then sorted. Wood chips and sawdust will be used to manufacture the pulp from which paper is made. Bark and other small pieces, known as hog fuel, is burned, generating steam that powers paper machines at the mill and runs turbines to generate green electricity. The wood chips are first screened for size. Pieces that are either too big or too small are returned to the hog fuel pile. Sorted chips are then washed and sent to the digester. When delivered, the content of the wood chips is approximately 50% water and 25% cellulose fiber. The cellulose fiber is what the mill needs to make pulp, which is the main ingredient used to make paper. The remaining 25% is a liquid called lignin. Lignin is the natural glue that holds the wood fibers together. In order to get to the fiber, the first order of business is to remove the lignin. Separating this brown colored material happens in the digesters. The digesters are like large pressure cookers. The wood chips are placed in this vessel along with some liquid cooking chemicals called white liquor. The lid on the digester is closed and steam is introduced. As heat and pressure increase inside the digester, the lignin begins to dissolve and the wood chips begin to break down. Think of white liquor as soap separating the wood fibers and washing out the glue, or lignin. The cooking liquid now containing the broken down lignin is called black liquor. When it leaves the digester, it's very diluted, containing a lot of water. The water is evaporated out, concentrating the remaining lignin and cooking chemicals. This mixture is burned in a specially designed boiler called a recovery boiler, which generates steam and electricity for the mill. After burning, all that remains of the black liquor are the spent cooking chemicals called green liquor. In a final process, lime is added, restoring and recycling the original chemical composition. At this stage, the mixture is again known as white liquor and is ready to begin the cycle again in the digesters. This cycle of white to black to green and back again to white cycles again and again making the process not only environmentally sound, but also very cost effective. In fact, this large, intricate recycling process, known as the craft process, is what made paper affordable to the masses for the first time in history. Back at the digesters, the remaining cellulose fiber isn't yet totally pure. And in order to get rid of any remaining lignin, the fiber is transferred to bleaching stations, here, pulp is washed with bleach and water in a series of steps, assuring all remaining lignin has been removed. With each step, the fiber becomes whiter and whiter. What started out as a very brown, dark wood fiber is now bright white and ready for use. From here, the cellulose fiber, or pulp, is either sent to the tissue mill, paperboard mill, or to the pulp dryer, where it's dried, baled, and stored for future use. Water is key in paper making. Paper mills use a lot of water. The Clearwater paper mill uses millions of gallons a day. Water is used to cool, to clean, and as a way of moving product throughout the mill. Water is also used inside the boilers to generate steam and help cool machinery. Water is continuously recycled throughout the mill. In the end, the water is returned to the river, but only after being filtered, cleaned, and purified through a very complex system. 
Clearwater Paper operates with some of the tightest discharge constraints of any pulp mill in the United States. Today's modern pulp mills operate as cleanly as possible. Much of the equipment, which costs millions of dollars, is required to keep the mill environmentally sound. Very little goes to waste, and great efforts are made to truly be good stewards of the environment.